Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Brandon Stanley, just in case you haven't been tuning in or seen enough of me on the Facebook page just yet. Um, I am the summer copy editor for the Daily Tar Heel, and today we're continuing our series of a look inside. This lighting is kind of gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> um, ask me if I'm out outfit repeating. Maybe, maybe it's the same day as I filmed some of the other ones. Maybe that. I'll leave that up for you to interpret. But what is different is where we are today. Um, today we are inside of Hinton James, which is one of uh, three high-rise uh, buildings that we have on campus for incoming first-year students. The other ones include uh, Craig and uh, E House. So if you're living in Craig E House or HJ Hinton James, um, this is the video for you. Today we're going to take a tour inside what a eight-person suite looks like and what exactly you can expect. Um, if you're living, like I said, in Craig, HJ, or E House, um, this is pretty much what you can expect. Um, a lot of them are very, very similar. They're built in similar styles, so there shouldn't be too many differences. Um, each room does have its own individual characteristics, though, so just remember that sometimes your room may be a slightly bit different from what you see today. Um, but like I said, this is an eight-person suite, so what that means is there is four rooms in here. You may occasionally have a single room or two um, inside your suite, so it may end up being a um, seven-person suite or even a six-person suite possibly, but more than likely you will probably have eight people. You should probably know that by now. You have your housing assignment. You should see your roommates. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, if you are lucky though and you have a six-person suite, that's just a couple less people to share the bathroom with, so that's, that's pretty cool, right? Right? Um, but we're gonna continue on take a tour inside um, we're gonna go inside of one of the rooms we're just gonna pick this room right here and as you look we have beautiful amounts of space now high rises are just a little bit different from your traditional uh, suite style or your traditional hall style as everything's fairly open concept you can even kind of hear my echo in the room just a teeny bit there's no, there's, everything's open. There's no places to hide, nothing that you uh, wanna like store away anywhere. Um, it is all open concept. So pretty much everything is on display, your bed, your closet, pretty much everything. And uh, <clears throat> there's really uh, no sort of, uh, no sort of uh, private elements to this room, which in, in, in cases can be good because you get a lot of storage out of what you see behind you. So you've got four very large uh, storage shelves above You've got two closets that you can hang your things on. There's a closet right behind this door, <coughs> um, which most people end up putting curtains over anyways. So that's pretty cool. If you do want some privacy, you do have that option. But also built into this area, you do have a dresser, <coughs> and then um, you have a plenty of space to hang things and store things up top, as well as above your desk, you have more uh, storage space depending on which desk you'll have. Depends on that. Um, if you've been tuning in and if you're curious to know what the new bed style looks like, this is it right here. So it is a little bit uh, lower to the ground than the old bed styles uh, in housing used to be. So if you've ever visited family or friends here, uh, things may look a little bit different in terms of the bed, but they are extremely sturdy. Trust me, I've had a bed lofted before and it was a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie, um, because that support bar really depends on uh, how, how well it goes in there. And, most people chose not to use it. So getting on a lofted bed was a little bit scary, but these are all self-supporting beds, which is really, really nice. They don't go nearly as high, but that's okay. Trust me, you do not need your bed lofted. If I've learned anything from my first year, that's what you need to take away is you really don't need your bed raised very high. Um, but these are what the new bed styles look like. So extremely sturdy, very nice to sit on. Um, just like in the other rooms, if you've been tuning into our other videos, you will get the same kind of standard uh, fixtures in each room. You will have a bed, you will have a desk, you will have one of these beautiful new rolly chairs. The chairs before were not rolly. I fell out of mine plenty of times. I've told that story like three times now. It's, these rolly chairs are much better, trust me, trust me. Um, and you also, in uh, high rises, have these uh, dresser drawers. You have a mirror, of course. Um, some of the residence halls may not have a mirror, but you, you are very lucky you got one today. Um, so if we take a little bit of a look outside into what the rest of our suite looks like, like I said, you've got uh, four different bedrooms in here. The occupancy will depend on where you're at um, and who your roommates are, but all the, all the rooms are fairly standard. Um, they all pretty much look the same. They're just angled a little bit differently sometimes. Um, coming into the bathroom, <coughs> you do walk in and you've got this very, very open space. I think that's the thing about high rises is there's just so open, like there's so much open space, which really can foster a great social environment and you will get to know your suite mates, I promise. I said that before, I'll say it again, you will get to know your suite mates, trust me. 
Um, inside you've got a pretty large shower area actually. It's really great if you're the kind of person like me who likes to stay in the shower forever. You're not like super cramped by any means um, and you've got like plenty of space to kind of like walk around, live around. If you're not the kind of person that enjoys being wet throughout your entire shower, you've got space to hide. Um, additionally, you do have your toilet area over here, which a lot of people will end up putting a curtain right across here uh, to kind of keep that uh, private as much as possible and so that you don't have to lock the door, the giant door here every single time. Um, and then you've also got a beautiful double vanity. So like I said in the other videos, you don't have to wait for other people to finish brushing their teeth. You can just go ahead and do it because you've got so much space. You've got these two beautiful sinks as well as mirrors. And I don't know what it is about high rises. I really don't. But you kind of have mirrors everywhere. I feel like it's for people like me who love looking at themselves because you've got a mirror on the bathroom door, mirrors in the bathroom, mirrors in the bedroom. It's, it's a little bit weird, but I kind of love it. <laughs> so if you're really into looking at yourself, be excited for living in Hinton James E House or uh, Craig. So this is pretty much exactly what you can expect. You're gonna have a nice view of the outside of your high rise, depending on where you're at, um, including our beautiful window unit for air. Um, so definitely be prepared for that. You may have to talk to your roommate about what uh, temperature you want that AC set on because it can get cold in here sometimes with those in-window units. Um, in other spaces, you may have an HVAC unit or another uh, in-window unit. It really just depends on where you live. So definitely check out our other videos to find that out and also check out the housing website if you have questions about that. But you have this beautiful suite area where you can also kind of like live and hang out and have things. Um, so definitely make sure you utilize that to the max. These, these suites are meant to live in, they're meant to kind of create a social space for, and they're just kind of beautiful, honestly. Plus, all the mirrors are pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. I think I look very good today, the lighting is really hitting me well, so I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror for a little bit. Um, thank y'all for tuning in, and if you are living in our beautiful lower quad, stay tuned, we will be heading to a hall style very, 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 very soon. I may be outfit repeating again, I guess you'll just have to find out, but we'll be touring one of those rooms so you can see what you look like, uh, <clears throat> if you have any mirrors, that is, um, but you can see what your living space looks like. And if you are living in a four-person suite style or Granville, make sure you check out our other videos. We should have already hopefully posted those, um, but that will give you a good tour into what your space there is going to look like. So, signing off for The Daily Tar Heel, my name's Brandon Stanley, and I will see y'all soon. I'm about to go see myself in this mirror. Here we go.